I'm going to make a video now on um, learning a lot of stuff about your computer. Now you're probably going to say, uh, you just did one of those clueless. What's wrong with you? Well, yeah, I did. Uh, this is going to be a different program that I failed to mention, usual, in my last, one of the last videos. Uh, you might have this, you might have seen this somewhere else, but I really like it. So, open up an internet browser, care what it is. Go to some reputable search engine like Yahoo or Google, use Yahoo, and uh, type in CPUID. CPUID, like Central Processing Unit Identification. Then enter. Search for the first one right now. Then when you get there, let's see. And been here in a while. Okay, if you go down and you'll see. CPU Z 1.47 that might change um, but you'll see a CPU Z tab and then click download version whatever it is right now it's 1.47 open it okay download it okay almost done boy that's pretty slow okay and then I think I can just run the application CPU Z and then open this CPU ID. Please wait. This is going to collect information about your motherboard. <clears throat> the motherboard is essentially the main board inside your computer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Regardless of what computer it is, and it's going to tell you pretty much everything about that. Some of this stuff even goes over my head and a lot of stuff. But <clears throat> here's a whole tab about my processor, my central processing unit or CPU processor. AMD, Tiria. I'm not going to read all that. Yours probably won't be the same. Anyhow, here's a lot of stuff. This is totally personalized to your system. That's why it took a couple seconds to look at that. A um, couple tabs. Here's cache, main board, manufacturer, it's Enforce 560, give uh, BIOS information, DDR2, 4 gig of RAM, 800 megahertz. That's, I don't even know what SPD is. Looks like it has something to do with RAM. I don't know. <clears throat> and then about. That's just about the software. And your Windows version. But there's a lot of interesting information in here that you can use. A lot of good stuff about your processor. Your family. Your code name. For me it's Tyler. Brand ID. Your core voltage. Your t the technology stepping model. Extension model. Instructions. You can see if it's 64-bit compatible if you see 64 at the end anywhere. But anyways, that's some really good software you can use to do that. So I think that's all I'm going to cram in this video. I know it's so long. Thanks for watching. Please comment. And uh, hopefully that can help you learn a couple things. Thanks again.